Hi, my name is Maurice Kiria. I'm a musician from Uganda, that's in East Africa. And my style of music, I call it Moyo, which Moyo literally means soul. Uh, what I'm trying to say is my music is Uganda's soul music. Uh, there's four styles of music. There's uh, Chidanda, which we would call pop Uganda music. There's the Luga flow, which would be the hip hop of Uganda. And what I do is soul, uh, but in, with the Ugandan touch. And um, I've been singing for 10 years. I started at the age of probably 15, but I come from a very musical family. All my, bro uh, all my brothers are singers. My mother loved music, my dad loved music. And I've been blessed to have people with different kinds of tests. My mother loved the blues, the jazz, and abbas, and bonnie M. So I got to understand that. And my father, my father liked the Congolese and more African music, so I got to hear that touch. And my brother is a rapper, my other brother is a dancehall artist, so it gives me a chance to learn so many things. Yeah. And um, why did you want to be part of uh, This Is Uganda? Um, it's, it's, uh, after reading their proposal, I realized they were trying to, to do a change in the industry, not only for the music and the entertainment bit, but they're really taking it at heart to help um, to help put the ladies in the arts out there, uh, to give more chances to to female acts as well. I saw Rachel K and how they promoted her. I, I love that they're trying to to really bring that professional touch and people to understand that uh, the ladies have power, you know, in the industry as well. People like Susan Kiernan. I'm a big fan of Susan Kiernan, Sarah Dagire. So. I, I was touched by that gesture. Uh, it wasn't about us, the guys anymore. But it, it was it was peaceful to know that they're getting that uh, that encouragement. And on top of that, they're definitely professional. And we need as many many music festivals in this country because the country has so much talent. And it's high time that people know about it. And if if this is Uganda is up, I think every musician should sign up for it because. We need every festival we can get because the world needs to know that Uganda has talent. And what women inspire you or what heroines do you have in your life? Heroines? Yeah, what what does heroin mean? Uh, heroes for women. Heroes? What, female heroes. Uh, that's definitely going to be my mother. One of the funniest people I know. Uh, but it's because she's, she's a lady who's gone through so much and she still holds her ground and never gives up, she's strong. And uh, I like how she will adjust to any situation and try to find a solution. And um, ha, now that you talk about it, uh, yesterday we managed to end up at a cocktail with the Queen of Uganda, and I realized just how much I admire that lady. Uh, she is such a lady, she's smart, she speaks beautifully, she tries to help the, uh, everybody that she can. She's a hero. I don't even know much about her, but the little I know uh, inspires me. And she's very beautiful. I hope the king does it. <laughs> yeah. And um, how do you think women are viewed in Uganda? How do I think? Yeah, how do you think women are viewed in Uganda? I think the women here are very powerful. Uh, uh, I, think, I think there's quite a fair balance if you're talking about the arts. Because right now, say it's actually the females who are dominating the music industry right now. If you're talking politics, yeah, it's a struggle that pro probably goes on everywhere in the world. If you're talking uh, marital, I, th I think a lot can be done better. Women need to be treated with respect, um, with love, because without them we wouldn't be here. And what do you think are the main issues that women have facing them in Uganda? Sorry? What are the main issues women have facing them in Uganda? <sighs> I guess I need to do my research on that one now. Yeah. <laughs> and what does independence for women mean to you? I always like to reflect back on my own sisters and my own mother and the way I like to think of them, how I'd like people to treat them. I like to think if I had a daughter, uh, we have an adopted uh, daughter, her name is Aliyah, and I would die for her. And the way I see them, my mother, my sisters, my uh, little girl, it's, I want every woman in the world to be treated the same way. I want people to treat every woman like it was their own mother, their own sister, their own daughter. I think it's only common sense that people should use that common knowledge to, to transfer to all the women in the world. And why do you think there's not a lot of Ugandans here today? I think uh, because the last time people were here, there was an incidence of uh, the July 11th bombings. 
uh, I think there's been a slight trauma about it. But to be honest, I think the turn up was great. Like, uh, when I came, there was no people. But first of all, I'm Ugandan. I like to keep time, time, but I'll speak for some of my good friends. They're never on time. They like to come one hour after the show. It's like tradition, come two hours after the show. So if you notice the crowd that was around at the end, I think this has been a, uh, it's been a reasonably good crowd for the time that it's the last weekend before Christmas. Everybody's doing an end of year party for a company or an office or whatever. So Sunday, the next weekend is gonna be family. So I think, I think it's good. I, I don't have a problem with the town, it's beautiful. And how do you How would I break? How, like, advice? Yeah, how does it help with this sort of event, this sort of festival? Help? Well, there's a good amount of people that get to listen to the ladies sing and a fairly uh, enough time that they perform on stage. But personally, what I would think would be best for them would not to just be seen on stage and heard and enjoyed, but if the festival could work out a way that there can be a workshop dedicated to the ladies a week before and it's through recording and the song they work on is done on the last day at least it, it would make me look up to it i would be wanting to know okay what did they do in the week a week before um like a joint song every year that would be exciting because i know just how talented everybody is that was on stage so it'd be nice. is there anything else you'd like to say um thank you for interviewing me it's uh, really nice um, I'm very humbled. Um, it's always nice to know that someone out there might just learn of your name and your works and what you do. And um, my name is Maurice Kiria and I hope everybody watching can, can support me. It's amazing. Yeah. What I'd like you to describe, what it feels like when you're on stage and you're singing. It's, it's my thing. <laughs> When I came today, uh, my manager couldn't let anyone talk to me and said, Maurice is very sick. I'm actually very sick. And they said, how are you going to sing on stage when you can't even talk? I said, it has happened to me many times when I'm doing badly, but as soon as you step on that stage, it's magic. Something takes over and you just do the things you do. Um, it's been a rough day for me, but I knew that as soon as I get on stage, everything will be gone. And as soon as you see the fans roaring, you get the adrenaline, I call it the adrenaline, you know, jump starting thing. As soon as you see the people roar, you see faces all the way, people screaming out your name. You don't have a choice, it's love and you can't pretend about it. You're, you're thinking, you know what, I'll die after the show. I'm giving them a show and after that I can drop dead. <laughs> yeah. And um, uh, because of being in a musical family, most people tell me what inspired, ask me what inspired me to sing. And I always tell them, it wasn't about inspiring me. It's just the one thing I did, and I didn't have to plan it. It, it ran in my blood. Everybody's singing, and you're singing by the fire, you're singing in church, you're singing everywhere. So you're thinking, this is who I am. So before I knew it, I was on professional stages, and it wasn't even about planning that I want to be famous. It's just something that, it was my way of communication. While other boys were famous because of football and the girls liked them, I was always skinny and I, I looked like a nerd, I wore glasses. But uh, as soon as I sung, ha, huh, I got the girls looking at me. So <laughs> that was my power, that was my connection, my communication. Last question. Yeah. What does This Is You Gone Festival mean to you and what do you think it means to the rest of you? I, I talked to Dan and Tatiana and I've seen how much work they've been putting into the festival of This Is Uganda. I know just how much they want it to look professional and anybody that's trying to do a professional act in Uganda, you're going to be my friend. Why? Because I want there to be a perception that Uganda has professionals, Uganda puts up professional things. So it means a lot for me to share on a stage, but share a stage with many artists of This Uganda because I know, I know it's going to grow to be a better festival. I know this just this doesn't end just today, so it means a lot to me to be part of this history, which I know someday is going to be great history. People will look back to this day as the first time it happened. But also, I mean, everything the way I feel, I, I think every Ugandan should feel the same way, and they probably do. <laughs>